Anything different about me? Glasses! I'm wearing glasses! My friend Zenny got a new pair to help her see better. I thought that they were so cool, so I wanted some too. But here's a secret lean in close. There's no glass in my glasses, they're not real. Glasses are awesome. Look at this pair. This pair makes me want to read. Let us keep looking to Jesus, Hebrews 12 2. Or this pair. This pair makes you want to dance. Oh, and look at this fun pair. I can make silly faces with them and make people laugh. Yup, glasses are the best. Hoo, hoo. Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Harper. Hoo, hoo. Seeing new things, are you? Hi, Ollie. I wish I wore glasses for real. It's fun to see new things, it's true. And I know more that you can see and do. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Follow Ooh. me through. to look and see the place where we look and we look and we see what's in the Bible. Are you ready to look inside the mystery box and see what we can learn from the Bible today? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, take a look. Ready? One, two, three, take a look. Whoa! A chef hat, an apron, marshmallows, rolls! Looks like we're going to be cooking today! Huh? 
we've been learning about our good friend Jesus and how we can look in the Bible to see some of the amazing things Jesus did. We're going to make one of my favorite treats. When we make this treat, it helps us take a closer look at our story. When I learned to bake this treat, I learned more about Jesus. Let's look in the cookbook. <laughs> no, silly. Let's look in the Bible to learn about the most amazing thing our friend Jesus ever did for you and for me. One day, Jesus and his friends were eating dinner. Can you pretend to eat like this? Good job! While they were eating, Jesus told his friends he was going to go away, but not to worry, because he was going to come back so he could be our friend forever. Give yourself a hug like a friend does. <laughs> awesome! That night, some angry people came. Oh no, show me your angry face. Whoa, those are some angry faces. The angry people came and took Jesus away. Then they hurt Jesus and he died. After he died, his friends wrapped him in a cloth and put him in a tomb. Jesus' friends were very, very, very sad. Three days went by. It felt like a long time. Kind of like when you're waiting for your treats to bake. Can you count the days with me? Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> On the third day, some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb. But guess what they found? Nothing! There was nothing in the tomb, just like there's nothing inside my treat. It was empty. What? The tomb was empty? Jesus was not in there anymore. He was alive. He went to visit some of his friends to tell them he was back and wanted to be their friend forever. Everyone, celebrate! <laughs> He said he would. He came back so he could be our friend forever. Give yourself a hug, just like a friend does. Great job. Jesus wants to be my friend forever, and your friend forever, and your friend forever, and your friend forever, and your friend forever. And your friend forever. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you tomorrow for another look and see. Bye! <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. That's amazing. Jesus did something that no one else could do so he could be our friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Glasses are super fun, but whether I'm wearing them or not, I can still see that Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That makes me so happy. I think I'm gonna have another dance party. See you next time.
every day.